morning everybody, friends and countrymen. Today I'm going to do something different. I had to rest for a while from traveling, but I will not I will still be doing it next vlog. But today I'm going something uh, different, not actually different. This is my third cooking vlog. But as a retired person, okay, there's a lot that you can do, and one of them is cooking. So this is my vlog for today. And I call this recipe the artificial crab omelette. Why artificial? That's a very good question if you will be asking to me right now. Artificial crab because the real crab meat is really very expensive right now. And uh, you know how much the last time that I went into the grocery store? It's a seven dollars and ninety-nine cents a pound. That's including the crab shell. And you know how heavy is the crab shell? That would be heavy to be included in one pound. But we have another way of enjoying a, a crab omelette. So there are a lot of available artificial crab meat. But don't worry about the word artificial crab meat because actually this artificial crab meat is actually a fish. Okay, so if you have noticed, back in my country, the Philippines, they're very fond of fish balls. And that is the component of this crab meat. So in store, in the store, you can buy, okay, I don't want to let you see the brand, okay, or Bacana Man, okay. So this is how the artificial crab meat looks like. And so let's start with all the ingredients that I will be using right now. So we have minced onions, we have a little salt, we have soy sauce, we have oyster sauce, okay? We have the eggs right here because this is an omelette, we need eggs. And I have here garlic powder, okay? Issue, you would be asking again, why, why a powder? garlic powder why not use the real garlic okay this is just a personal opinion okay because I am the type type well I am the type of person who doesn't want to like to a real garlic in my food but it doesn't mean that I don't want the smell of a garlic I just don't want that I can chew a garlic in my food so that's why I'm using this powder garlic powder but you can use a minced garlic yes you can okay <laughs> that's just a personal preference I have here black pepper okay uh, bacon man and uh, the star of my recipe and this is the artificial crab meat later on with the use of, let me show you something, something. Okay. This is the <laughs> gadget that you use to mask the potatoes. I am going to mask this so I can form, I can form this into like patties. Okay, so this is the gadget that I will use to mask this one later. So uh, we're putting uh, vegetable oil in here. So we can start sauteing our crab meat. So first of all, I'm going to start with the minced onion. Okay, minced onion. And then, just saute first the, the onions until it becomes translucent. So there's a there's a lot of uh, ways of cooking your crab omelette. Actually, it's either also you can put flour 
or you can put starch, cornstarch, if you want it a little crispier. But me, again, personal preference, I just want it the, the real thing, like there's nothing on it, just the egg. Because for me, that's the omelet thing. Okay? The using the egg only and not uh, with flour and starch. That is just, that depends upon you. If you want it to be like a little bit crispier, it's up to you. And so, this is now where I am going to use my gadget to mess this one right here. So, because I will be making or forming or shaping this into patties, I need to mass this into like pieces so it's easier for me to form patties. Okay. That's how it is. Now it's starting to disintegrate into like pieces that looks like crab meat. Okay. So here it is. Let me just lower the temperature. Let me put my salt, a little bit of salt, okay. and a little bit of my, just, this one is to add color to, I mean, not just for flavoring, but also to add color, and my, I need my oyster sauce right here, okay, and another thing, I also need to squeeze in my lemon, okay, just a little bit of my lemon, okay, that's it, and, okay, you might also be asking, or not asking, I will just inform everybody, that every time I cook, I have a little secret, and that's putting sugar, a little bit of sugar, into what I'm cooking, okay? This is to add a little bit of flavoring also to the food that I am cooking, okay? I am not fond, or I am not, I, I don't use Betsin or the monos, the MSG. I don't use that. And so, if, if you, I think, you know that the, the, the taste of, of MSG is like something a little bit sweeter, okay? As a substitute, why don't you use sugar? And to um, taste, okay? Taste our, okay? That's the way it is. So if this is now, if the taste is now okay. Oh, it is really good. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm using a different, different spoon. Spoon. Different spoon. My goodness, where's my English right now? I'm using a different spoon. You might be asking, or you might, you might be telling me. That is very unhygienic, okay? So I'm using a different spoon. So, this is the thing, okay? I am going to, okay, that's it, okay? Even if you taste it, it's already good. You can already eat it. But because we are going to turn this into an omelet, we have to. So this is already very good. Mind you, I'm not joking. Uh -huh. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. This is already very good. And so we have to let this stand for about well, probably 10 minutes just to let this cool down a little bit. Because you know why? Because if I'm going to put this in the beaten egg that I will be using later on, the egg will get cooked. So there's no omelet that would happen. So we have to let this stand for about 10 minutes, I think, to let this thing cool down. Okay, after 10 minutes, uh, this uh, crab meat has already cooled down. So 
I'm going to dump this into my beaten egg, okay? And make sure that uh, I reach a consistency that I would like to use. Okay, let's see first. How is it? Okay, let's add some more. And I will just add some more egg later on. So let's see okay. how it looks like. Okay. Okay, let's put uh, some more of the crab meat right here. There's a certain consistency that I would like uh, to achieve in here, okay? Not that much of the egg, but uh, just uh, enough to bind the crab meat, okay? That's how I would like my omelet to be, uh, or, or the consistency that I would like to achieve, let's see. I think this would be enough. Oh, before I forget, you know what? If this would have been a live vlog or video, somebody would have messaged me already that you forgot your garlic powder and your black pepper. I already did. Just for, for aesthetic purposes. I know if, if I know what it means. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting to put in the first of my omelette right here okay so I will try to like shape it okay okay I don't know how uniform my circle would be later on but I know it wouldn't be that perfect but okay for as long as you have this perfect taste okay it doesn't matter okay so that's how it should look like okay so not that eggy no not, not a lot of egg on it so you can still see okay so let's have let's add one more on this side right here okay. so let's see how it is okay let's try to make it a perfect circle side right here there's a lot of egg that's coming out of that one okay that needs to see that okay I'll just add some more right here dump some more of my um, crab meat right here okay. Okay. And I will just add egg if there's a need of it Okay, I'm just like, you know. Okay. And so, let's see. Okay. This would be, um, this would be a good or, or, or food for kids. Because for one thing, kids love fried food, so. That's the reason too that uh, if you have kids, you know, just don't put the, the, the garlic, the real garlic, but you can just substitute it with the garlic powder. Let's check. This will not take long, okay? Once you see that it's browning under it, then you just have to flip it, okay? okay. And that would be enough for you. Okay, or you want it, it's, it's up to you. You want some more brown on it, it's up to you. Okay, but my for me, this is already enough for me. So, okay. They're not that uniform, but that's okay. Okay. Anyway, your stomach will not tell you, oh, I'm, I'm eating a not uniform or a not perfect circle. It wouldn't. It will accept whatever you give. Or you put on it okay so see how how uh, easy it is how um, uh, fast okay let me just put something something okay just a 
foot right here just to you know lessen lessen or decrease the oil or to let the oil drip on the okay and that's it okay so let's try to put it right there okay that's how yeah that's perfect okay and let's check this one yep it's perfect okay and about what about this one okay yep that's already perfect okay the other one has a lot of egg on it but that's okay okay the next batch okay See. Oh, oops. It jumped. Okay. Oops. It's not gonna be the perfect circle anymore. Okay. I need to lower my temperature. Okay. So let's shape this as if this is a perfect circle. Let's see. Okay. Tip. Okay. okay. The smell, the smell, if you're only like right here beside me. The smell is so good. And uh, if the kids will smell this one, oh, definitely they will be asking for it. Because it is really good. It's so good. Okay, so as I've said, I, I, I am not against garlic. You know, the real garlic. I am not against it. Because for one thing, there's a medicinal aspect on garlic. But as I said, it's just a personal preference, okay? And uh, mind you, as I've said too, that to bluff the kids to eat, or you know, just to let them eat this food without the garlic, but there's still the smell of it, okay? So you can just use the one, the, the garlic powder. So see how easy, how fast, okay? How so flavorful. Okay. Don't make your patties thick because you see just how much um, oil have I have I put in, okay? You have to just you know make adjustments of your patties, not so thick. Don't make it so thick. Like 15 patties of about $6. Not even $6 because I... Let me see the price of this. If it has a price because I don't know if it has... No, it doesn't have a price on it. But I know this is only like $2.99, I think. Okay? For each pack, it's only like $2.99, so... That gives me six dollars. Let's just like make a, a rough estimate, like about six dollars, and I have fifteen patties. It is. Look at that. And I will tell you what kind of sauce you are going to use later on. Oh, by the way, I will show it right now. Okay. This is usually the sauce that I use. Okay, UFC bikini man. It's called sweet chili sauce okay i'm almost almost done that's the last of the patty and uh, i need to put this at the middle where is it oh i need to okay. and this is really good i i can assure you that this one is really good okay, okay. let's put it right there on my big one. No, that's, I'm putting it right there. Because I'm going to eat it. Okay. So let's put it right there. And turn this off. Okay. 
and the last, uh, the last, the, 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 the last, the last, oh, I'm sorry, <sighs> you know what, okay, I dropped it, but this one is clean, I already cleaned it, so, just, <laughs> just a disclaimer, I already cleaned that one, so no matter if it, it, I, if I drop it, that is already clean, so for purposes of my okay i need to put this one right here at the middle okay and then i'm done so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you will try it okay at home and right now i'm putting the sauce okay okay so that's how it looks like right now okay let me just i have here uh, something left okay so this is now my finished product uh, look how delicious it is and again shout out to my atelier in los angeles california and i'm gonna see you in my next travel vlog bye bye for now